Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to be learning how to create a simple product. That's right. Now, Magento supports several different product types. The most common product type is called a simple product. Now, simple products are generally used for products that have no variations available. For example, a tie that is available in just one size or a computer mouse. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a simple product in Magento and all the basic details about a product in Magento. So with that said, let's jump across to Magento and we'll catch up with you there in a few moments time. So Dave, let's go and create a simple product. And to do that, we need to go to catalog and then manage products. In the top right hand corner, click on the button which says add product. Now you'll be given different options here, but you'll want to select default for the attribute set and the product type simple product and then click on continue. From this page, this is where you can create simple products in Magento. So where we have the name, this is where you would type in the name of your product. Now for this example, Dave, I'm going to be using a dining set, which doesn't come in any variations. It's just a set of tables and chairs and there are no options at all. So where we've got the name field, I'm going to paste in the name. Now this is also the name which comes out underneath the product or above the product on our Magento website. Now for the description, you may or may not have the WYSIWYG editor turned on. In our case, we've got it turned off, but let's show you how you can use the WYSIWYG editor. So if you have an orange button called WYSIWYG editor, click onto that button and then at the top, press show hide editor. And you'll see Dave, we've got a little WYSIWYG or what you see, what you get editor. Now we need a product description, so we're gonna paste one in. Obviously in your case, you would then populate this with the information about your product. So let's click into here and paste our description in. If we wanted to highlight a specific area of our text, so is ideal for family dining or garden parties, for example, we can highlight that text and then press the B button to make it bold. And of course, there's lots of other options here, which we're not gonna go into. Once we finish editing these, press the submit button in the bottom right hand corner. You'll notice that Magento does fully support the use of HTML in your descriptions. Now the short description is really meant for a short description of the product. And in our case, we're gonna borrow the first paragraph which we've got for our product and paste that into our short description. Let's scroll down the page a touch. We've got SKU. And Dave, what does SKU stand for? SKU stands for Stock Keeping Unit. Excellent. So we need to enter a SKU for this product. So we're not going to be very creative on this one. We're just going to go and call this one Wiltshire. But of course, you would enter a stock number which makes sense to you or your supplier. Next, the weight. Now I know this item is 56 kilograms, so I'm going to type in 56. A little tip here is try and keep the weight values the same for all of your products. So no mixing up kilograms and grams, keep them always in grams, kilograms, or pounds and ounces, whatever suits your business. Now Dave, we've got lots and lots of options in here, and I'm gonna to keep to the basic ones first. Where we've got status, we're gonna drop this box down and choose enabled. And what that means is that this product is now enabled to be shown on our Magento website. If it's set as disabled, it will never appear. The next option is visibility. Now, normally you want all your simple products to be set as catalog search. And what catalog means is that your customers will find this product by searching the categories on your Magento website. And search, that means that this product will appear in the search results if your customer makes a search for this product and matches any of the criteria which you've got set. Next, we've got the prices tab on the left hand side and we need to enter a price for this product. So in our case, we're going to enter 699.99. Now Magento has got many advanced features such as group price, tiered pricing, putting products on sale and so on and so forth. We could never cover all these in one tutorial and you have a brain left. <laughs> 
Well, there's lots of attributes. There is. It gets very deep very quickly. It gets deep very quickly. So we're going to give you a basic overview to the main attributes which you need to be looking out for. And, of course, check out the YouTube channel for Understanding E. And we've got all of these extra options covered in separate tutorials for you. So we've been and got our price set. And you'll also see down here at the bottom the tax class. Now, we're staying with simple. I'm going to choose none. And Dave, the tax class... That's a prime example of an attribute which gets very, very deep, very, very <laughs> quickly. And we do have set up tutorials how you can set up the tax classes for Magento, not only for the United States, you've also got them for the United Kingdom, Europe, and also Australia too. The next tab which we're going to look at is the meta information. And the two key sections here for you to pay attention to is the meta title. So that's going to be our page title. Now, if we leave that blank, the Magento is going to use our product name back from the general tab. If we go back to the meta information tab, if you leave the meta description area empty, then it will use the description to populate this for you. And meta keywords, they're pretty much dead now, but Magento will also populate these automatically for you. The next tab on the left-hand side is product images. And this is the one tab where I always make mistakes. So we are going to be pausing to point out the upload files button in a few moments time. So let's go and add some images to this product. And to do this, we need to click on the button which says browse files on the right hand side. Now, quick note, pay attention here because there's a little way where you can forget to press a button and your images don't get uploaded. That's right. If you don't press upload files on the right hand side and you press save, they won't be uploaded. So, Dave, we've got a collection of images here. Now, a big tip for you, and we've seen this in the Understanding e forums before is that if you want your images to be uploaded in a specific order, then click on them in a specific order. So I'm holding down the control key and choosing them in a different order. Or you could just press control and A on your keyboard, which would select them all, and then click on open. You'll now see that you've got your images here in a list. Now it's crucial that you press the upload files button on the right hand side. So give Magento a few moments, and Dave, we can now see that we've got our product images on the right-hand side. Now, we've been and uploaded several images to Magento, and we've got these extra columns here. And it's really important that we actually choose one of these images to come out as the base image, the small image, and also the thumbnail as well. And the reason why I say it's important is because if you don't set that, you're just going to have the Magento placeholder image showing on your Magento website. But if we scroll down, we can see a really nice lifestyle image down here at the bottom. Let's go and choose the radio options for those three options there. And what that means is that this image will be used as the base image, the small image, and also the thumbnail image too. Or if you prefer an image like this one to be used, then choose the radio options for that one instead. So that's the product images uploaded, Dave. Let's go and have a look at the inventory tab on the left hand side. Now this is where you can set the quantity available for this product. So let's say that we've got a dozen of these in stock. So I've set them as 12 and crucially, remember to change your stock availability from out of stock to in stock. So if you don't have that set, then the products won't appear on your Magento website. Next up, we've got websites. And if you have more than one store view, the websites tab will appear and you'll need to tick your website available here. Or if you've got multiple Magento websites, tick the websites which you would like this product to appear on. The next tab which we've got is categories. And this is where you can assign this product to one or more products within your categories in Magento. So let's go and expand home and decor and we can see that we've got different categories here. Now, obviously, this isn't the right category for us to choose, but we're going to pop this dining set into home and decor and books and music. And on a serious point, you can create and manage your categories in catalog and then manage categories. And yes, we've got a video tutorial to show you how to manage those and products on YouTube too. Now, Dave, we could stop here, but there are some several other options which I'm just going to quickly point out. 
is that we can also choose related products. So we can choose which products that we would like to appear next to this product. So for example, we've got a dining set and you may have other dining sets. You can select which products appear as related products. The same for upsells and cross-sells. And of course, once you've been in finished editing this product, press save in the top right hand corner. And once you press save, then you'll come back to the list and you'll see that we've got our new product here. Now, Dave, this item may not be on our Magento website just yet. And the reason for that is because we may need to re-index Magento for this product to appear. So I'll tell you what, let's go and have a nose and see if it has appeared yet. So we put that in the books at the home and decor and then in the books category, didn't we? We did indeed, because that was the most sensible place for it to go. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so let's go now go to home and decor and then books and music. Has our table set appeared, which it has done. Excellent. So we're going to have a look at that in a moment. But if this is your website and that product hasn't appeared just yet, don't panic. This is down to the way that Magento works and it's perfectly normal for that to happen. If that is you, go back to your Magento admin, go to system, index management, then tick all the indexes on the left hand side and then click the orange button on the right hand side, which says re-index. So let's go back to our Magento website and click into our product and we'll now be able to see our dining table set. There's our title. There's our short description, Dave. We can also see our price. We can see the additional images which we added. So we can choose from any of the 11 or so images which we added. And then if we scroll down, we can also see our product description. And Dave, remember I set that text there to be in bold? It's come out as bold in our description too. Now a little note here is that while you're adding products one by one to Magento, there are many ways in getting lots and lots of products into Magento very, very easily. Now, if you nip across to the understandingE.com website, we have a course on a tool called MagMe. And in that course, we'll show you how to put import one, 10, 100, or even 100,000 products into Magento using CSV files. Also, we cover the Magento Data Flow Manager too. So Dave, that's how we can create a simple product in Magento. Like we said, there are lots and lots of options when it comes to simple products in Magento. There's probably a little bit too much to cover in one tutorial and extra features such as setting products as being new, putting products on sale and related and all the advanced features. We've got separate tutorials on YouTube just for those to help you. So with that said, for myself, Matt. And from me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd. And we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.